Hi everyone. I am Anonymous Traveler from Intellectual Exercise. Today, I will discuss mental bubbles in our mind and the two methods to stop spiritual energy diminishing. In my previous video, I have discussed one of the aspects of energy diminishing, which was human interactions and also provided an exercise to reduce that. By the way, if this is the first time listening to my talk, I recommend to listen to previous videos in a sequential order for better understanding. Anyway, most humans keep losing their subtle spiritual energy continuously and I will discuss it today. The way of spiritual alchemy and esoteric occult practice seems very complicated with a lot of coded languages. However, in its core, the super short summary of the basic process is stop the energy diminishing and the energy interferences and accumulate spiritual energy within and with that accumulated energy dismantle passively assembled selfhood and find the true essence within your mind and then reassemble selfhood actively. Through this process once in a divine spark will be activated and the one becomes something more than human. Like I said previously, this hidden divine spark came from this class 1 God who never participated in the creation of this world. When one's hidden divine spark is partially activated, he or she can become a master of inner void. And when the hidden divine spark is fully activated, he or she can become a master of outer void. However, there is even more advanced stage of spiritual alchemy. The ultimate final stage of spiritual alchemy is either becoming one of the many class 2 gods or becoming a part of a class 1 God. When one becomes a master of outer void, he or she can choose between these two different paths. However, in order to pursue the path to become the class 2 God, his or her physical body must die first. In other words, it cannot happen in one's lifetime. I will discuss this ultimate final stage of spiritual alchemy in another video. Anyway, mastering energy dynamics is one of the essential part of the process. When I discussed energy interference from my previous video, Silence is Golden, I was mainly discussing the energy interactions between you and other humans. However, that's only one part of a big picture. So today, I will focus on one of the major mechanisms of energy diminishing within us. I will call it jumping among various bubbles. Let me explain what I meant by jumping among various bubbles. What comes up in our mind, whether it's emotion, feeling, or thoughts, they all have bubble-like quality. In our mind, temporary bubbles are popping up all the time, and we jump onto one of them by identifying with it, and as soon as we become one with it, it bursts, 
and then we jump onto another bubble and then it bursts again and this cycle never stops and when we gain insight into our mind's working what we can see is our feelings and the thinkings are like soap bubbles soap bubble is not permanent and has no meaningful content it just pops up and pops out within a very short time frame the way our mind work is there is a lot of bubbles of emotions and thoughts popping up continuously in our mind based on various stimuli and our mind keeps jumping from one bubble to another you might wonder how come that's even possible for example let's say it's a Sunday at 4 a.m. and you are at home and you feel a strong urge for cheesecake you have no cheesecake at home and it's 4 a.m. and there's no store near you open yet until a store where you can buy a cheesecake opens you keep thinking about cheesecake then you might think that it must be a same desire that has been lasted for several hours and why should I consider it as a temporary bubble well the answer is that desire for cheesecake is a succession of multiple bubbles each bubble of cheesecake craving has a slightly different quality but you are keep jumping from one bubble to another blindly when this process become a habitual pattern we develop an attachment to certain bubbles and we call them as our personality in other words we are identifying ourselves with these bubbles anyway the important thing is jumping from one bubble to another continuously is a process that drains our energy greatly we are normally unaware of this process and have no idea how much energy we are continuously losing because of this process to overcome this process I recommend two exercises and I will share them with you today one is inside meditation or vipassana meditation and the other is third person perspective diary what I really recommend is doing them both but if you want you can try just one let's discuss the third person perspective diary first it is a diary where you write down your emotions thoughts and actions from a third person perspective instead of writing I did something today you write he or she did something today it means you are purely observe your behavior as a scientist or researcher this tool is also useful to overcome your personal weakness for example if you are easily offended you can focus your diary on each outburst of anger you describe on each incident of outburst of anger just like a scientist or researcher would do on the subject of experiment at a research center this practice will gradually reduce the frequency 
and the intensity of the outburst of anger. And the main point of this exercise is to be able to aware certain triggers and cues that makes you jump into a bubble of anger. When you become skillful in writing this type of a diary, you will gain insight into your own triggers and cues. So gradually, you are going to remove many unnecessary energy diminishing mechanism. Now, let's talk about insight meditation. It offers more direct experience of such bubbles. It starts with focusing on your breath. You follow your own breathing with a slow, relaxed, and the deep breath, your abdominal area is slightly expanding, then shrinking. This slight pattern of rising and the falling of your abdomen is a good focal point to use. However, you can use whatever area of your LA based on your preference. The point is, your mind should be calm enough to be able to aware the rising of bubbles such as emotions or thoughts. In our normal state of mind, our emotion or thought just coming at us at once. However, with this inside meditation, you begin to see things in a slow motion. It's like uh, watching a slow motion video. And with that slow motion video, you can actually see the emotion or thought also has a cycle of existence. It starts as a small bubble then it grows bigger, and then sustains itself briefly, and then burst. It has burst, growth, maintenance, and death, just like anything in this world. With the calm state of mind, achieved from inside meditation, we are able to see the stages of the existence of each bubble. More you practice this type of meditation, you become more skillful in handling various bubbles. And as a result, your bubble jumping process loses its momentum and you can stop the energy diminishing from bubble jumping process. And as a result, your inner subtle energy will be increased. This way, you can stop the energy diminishing and instead start to accumulate subtle spiritual energy for spiritual working. This subtle energy is a crucial part of a spiritual alchemy and occult practice. Thanks for listening and all the best.